हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द यूट्यूब चैनल सो दिस इज द लेक्चर वन ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट यूनिट वन ऑफ बी इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड दिस इज एज पर दिल्बस टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन पार्ट सो द यूनिट वन इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट विल फर्स्ट सी दि सिलेबस कॉन्टेंट फॉर दिस यूनिट वन सो हियर विल सी वाई इज सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट इंपॉर्टेंट वॉट इज प्रोजेक्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट मैनेजमेंट एक्टिविटीज कवर्ड बाई सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट वॉट इज प्लान मेथड्स एंड मेथोडोलॉजीज then some ways of categorizing software projects stakeholders how to set objectives what is business case project success and failure what is management management control and finally we'll see traditional versus modern project management practices so in this video we'll only cover the first two topics that is why is software project management important and what is project so let's start with the first topic why is software project management important so see whenever we'll start one project we want it to achieve its goal and to achieve its goal it is necessary to maintain and to manage the particular project so also in some particular project we'll use some different technology in the other project we might use the different technology so it may happen that whatever the problems that comes in the first project that same problems will uh, be there in the second project it not happen like that so from the first pro project we may uh, find out the solutions for that particular problem but that solution will not work for the project so that is the first point is saying about the most crucial is that the underlying technology evolves and changes at such a rapid pace that experience gain from one product may not be applicable to another okay so that is what i explained you now the second point is all of these commercial and environmental restrictions put software development at risk thus it's critical to manage software projects effectively so there are some restrictions commercial and as well as the environmental restrictions on the software projects or a project so that's why it is difficult to manage the software projects effectively then third is the figure alongside depicts triple limitations here you can see one triangle and it has three limitations or three constraints that is quality cost and time okay so now these three are dependent on each other so suppose if you want to develop a high quality product or a software project so for that you will add more features into it you will add more security to it and which will results into the high cost as well as the time required for that particular project will be high so that is what it is an important component of software development to create a high quality product while staying within the price constraints of the client and completing project on time so whatever the budget the client is giving to you within that budget only you have to uh, complete that particular product and also within the specified time for the so this triplet constraint triangle may be influenced by a number of internal or external factors so it can be influenced by the internal or external factors now what is meant by internal uh, factors so it might happen that particular members or the project members are not available so it may result that the project will be complete will not be completed within the specified time so that is what this point is about any one of the three factors can have a significant impact on the other right so see whenever you want to develop a high quality you will require more cost and more time but if you want to develop a particular project in a short time or a small uh, short duration of time then you will not add more features right and as the time is uh, time required will be less the quality is also not that much high so the cost required will obviously be less so this is what it is saying that if any one of the factor is you are considering then depending upon that factor the other two will be affected if you are trying to develop high quality products the cost and time will be affected if you are trying to develop the uh, project or the quality of the project is not that much high then the cost and time will require will be less so this is what about the time constant you have to remember this diagram because this diagram is very important and it will be required in the next point as well okay so as a result software project management is critical for incorporating user needs as well as budget and time restrictions so it is difficult to maintain that particular quality of the product also also within the budget and also within the needs of the users so that's why software project management is something critical 
Now, if you want to support your answer with some example, then you can write this that the federal government of the United Kingdom spent more money on contracts for ICD projects than on contracts for road construction during the fiscal year 2002 to 2003. So the federal government of United Kingdom, what it does, it, it spends more money on the ICT projects, that is uh, the uh, software projects or something like that, than the road construction during the, that particular period of year. So now what happens is the ICT projects that are poorly managed, they results in less money being spent on the beneficial things like hospitals, right? So whenever you are spending money on a particular project, you want it to achieve its goal or you want it to be successful but something uh, but some times it happens that because of the poor management of that particular project it happens uh, it may happen that the project is not successful or it does not achieve its goal and uh, because of that what happens then uh, the money that we have spent is lost or is wasted and uh, also, the projects unfortunately don't always turn out well. So see, whenever you are trying to uh, build a project, even if it is your academic or a mini project, you'll see that it will not, sometimes it will not uh, come out to be perfect or it will, it will have some errors, it will have some discrepancies in between uh, in them. So this is what it is saying about projects unfortunately don't always turn out well. So the management of projects is frequently to blame for this project flaws. So the management of the project is blamed for that particular flaws though the implementation as well as the development plays an important role but if the management of the project is done effectively and correctly it there are uh, more chances that the project will be success so to ensure that the project will achieve its goal the management of the software project is important right to achieve a particular goal of the project the management of the software project is important you can also add uh, one point that we have seen in the diagram that to ensure that the project will achieve its goal within the budget and the time specified, the management of the software project is important. You can also write this conclusion line. So this is all about why is software project management important. Now we will see what is a project. We are talking about software project management, but what is the project? So project you can consider as a series of tasks. A series of tasks which are performed in some order to achieve the goal. So see, a project is a well-defined task which is a collection of several operations done in order to achieve a goal. Now, what I mean about the several operations. So several operations can be the requirement gathering, then uh, making plan, then executing it, then implementing something like that then testing and maintenance of that to achieve a final product or to achieve a goal is nothing but a project. A simple definition is it is defined as a series of tasks that needs to be completed in order to reach a specific outcome. Then now the project can be managed by a single person or a number of people. So if it's an individual project or it's a small project, then it may happen that it is managed by a single person. But if it's a large project or an organization project, then it might happen that different components or different modules of the projects are managed by the different people. Next point is a project is a unique venture with a beginning and an end conducted by people to meet established goals within parameters of cost, schedule and quality. Okay. Obviously, the project will have some beginning and an end. It, it is not the case that it has started and it is going on, going on, going on, and you are not getting or achieving a goal. So it, it, it should not happen, right? That's why a project is a unique venture with a beginning and an end. And it is conducted by the people to meet established goals within the parameters of cost, schedule, and quality. So within this constraint only, we have to achieve a particular goal and it should have a beginning and end. So the uh, instead of this schedule, you can also mention the time that we have seen in the previous uh, diagram. Then we'll see how the project can be characterized. What are the characteristics of the project? So every project may has a unique and distinct good. So a particular project of a particular organization may have some uh, goal. Similarly, the other organization which is, which is developing the other project may have different goals because the user or the customer will have the uh, different 
expectations from that particular project or requirements and depending on that requirement the project is developed so it is unique and distinct pool then project is not a routine activity or day-to-day -day operations so what uh, is mean by this not routine activity so the project is not a day-to-day -day operation that uh, something like us uh, we wake up then have breakfast then we have college or go to work so this is not something like that it has some start and end time so within that duration you have to complete that particular project so the project comes with a start time and end time this is we have discussed then project ends when its goal is achieved hence it is a temporary phase in the lifetime of an organization okay the main motive of the project is to achieve a goal and once that goal is achieved the project is said to be completed and hence one, uh, hence it is a temporary phase in the lifetime of an organization so what this sentence mean that in a particular organization it does not happen that it will have only one project it will have multiple projects and after the completion of one project it will move to the second project so that's why that phase particular phase of that particular project is said to be a temporary phase project needs adequate resources in terms of time manpower finance material and knowledge by obviously whenever we are trying to build a project we should have uh, adequate resources so then it can be a time it, we should have a sufficient time then we should have a manpower how uh, how many members will be required then finance that is the uh, capital then material and knowledge bank we should have a knowledge about the domain and the technology that will be working on or the project uh, needs to be built on now uh, we'll see what is a software project just a simple definition is uh, mentioned here so a software project is the complete process of software development from requirement gathering to testing and maintenance carried out according to the execution methodologies in a specific period of time to achieve intended software product in short a software project is nothing but a complete process or the entire process of software development so now uh, what this software development process includes so it can be from requirement gathering to the testing and maintenance and we have to complete this project within a specified time frame to achieve a particular goal so this is nothing but a software project if you found this definition a bit difficult you can have this definition that is a software project is the entire process of software development from requirement collecting to testing and maintenance and that is carried out in a specific time frame for what to produce the desired software and how it will produce that according to the execution technique so what are the techniques how to execute what are the techniques methods uh, will be there according to that we have to develop our project so in this video we have covered the first two topics that is why is software project management important and we have seen the this diagram so this diagram is very important which, de which depicts the three main constants of the project that is quality cost and time and then we have seen what is project and what is software project so that's it for this video if you understand the concept please like the video share it with your friends and subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos thanks for watching